peace what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy serrano and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the note 10 right here because it did receive the one ui 4.1 update so that's going to be pretty exciting a huge update for this device and um, let's just jump into it <laughs> One of the things I did notice when I was downloading this thing is that it was a pretty, pretty big file. Uh, let's go into software update right here. And um, you're going to notice this is a huge file log right here. So it says you can add portrait effects. Uh, you can now add background blur to any picture with a person in the view. Uh, so that's definitely something that's cool for a lot of people who like to take photography and uh, still shots and um, shots of people right with a person in view and then it convert unnecessary motion photos to still images save which is another update thing that it's doing here for the note 10 save storage spec by converting motion photos to still images gallery will suggest pictures um, where motion isn't necessary such as documents and then it has all this stuff right here for share albums as links, all your invitations together, so you can easily accept invitations and shared albums. You can also create time-lapse videos, which is something that's pretty cool. Like if you wanna share a moment with somebody, like a loved one or a spouse or like a family member, you could do time-lapse uh, videos, which is something that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool for the um, One UI 4.1. So there's, there's more stuff here. It does say the AR zone where you actually get these stickers, emojis, doodles, and more. Right here, you, you have more decorations for your stickers, background colors, and mask mode. So it, you can keep focus of your AR while wearing it as a mask. Choose from a variety of colors to use as your background. And so, so you, can, you can use your background with the mask and so I think I think that's going to be pretty sweet as well but um, another thing that they did provide here with this update and I'm just going to hit download right now but I just don't want to lose this information so right here it does say you can uh, you have the smart widget feature where you, to your home screen so smart um, the widgets just got smarter you just choose the widgets you want and let Galaxy do the rest and then group which is together save up space save space on your home screen by combining multiple widgets in a, into one widget swipe to the left or right to scroll through your widgets as a set and then rotate them automatically to show the most relevant information so that's kind of cool because it's kind of like what apple widgets are kind of going to be like you can kind of scroll through them and you can group them together which is kind of cool so they also do have something for here on here called google duo and google duo is it will improve a little bit it'll stay in touch with high quality for videos calls one ui brings you exclusive features to do more during calls so you can you can share another app screen share another apps uh, app screens during a video call during duo you could watch YouTube together, share photos, explore maps, and more. You can join video calls in presentation mode during a video call on your phone. You can join the same call on the tablet in the presentation mode, and the tablets um, will be shared on other participants, and the video will continue on your phone. Also, I have something for Samsung Health, which is something that's pretty cool, um, smart switch. Uh, it'll enhance your tracking with your Galaxy Watch 4, so on your smart watch, uh, it'll do different training targets before you start um, running or cycling and you'll get um, your report on your phone when you're finished so you can you know give information by sweat loss and when you run that's another cool feature with the um, Samsung 4.1 UI it's gonna be a big update right and then it says right here that you can actually more transfer options you'll get three options when transferring content to your new galaxy you can choose between transfer everything just transfer your accounts transfer contacts calls and messages or go to custom to choose exactly what you want to transfer and then they have smart things fine so you can find things like your earbuds your tablet your phone all in smart things 
and then find a lost device together. You can share the location of all your devices with others. If a device gets lost, you can help get them to, um, get help from other people. Um, so that's another cool feature as well. The sharing, um, so for the 4.1 gives you even more ways to share with others. You can share your Wi-Fi information. Use, um, right here it says, use quick share to share your, your, your current network with somebody else so you could use quick share to share your network with someone else and you can't the person you sh you share with will be able to automatically connect without entering the password so i know um i know um apple has that but i didn't know samsung had it until now so that's really crazy it says in include editing history when you share pictures and and videos um, more tips you can share tips with people and then right here it says more features and improvements so color palette you'll get customized um your phone with unique color based colors based on your wallpaper your custom color palette now appears in more apps including apps provided by google so you know that's going to be pretty crazy it's going to appear in certain apps now as well smart suggestions Clean up shadows and reflections in photo editor. Add emojis to your calendar. Take quick notes while you browse. Um, so you can keep track of your sources of new clips and Samsung notes. So more note um, options there. And then last but not least, you can basically do choose apps for uh, text correction and Samsung keyboard. So it says right here, choose which apps you want to get automatic text corrections and turning it on uh, for writing apps to keep the spelling and grammar in check and more widely available key op board options as well as customize your sound balance so you can you know now in accessibility you can adjust the left and right balances of devices separately um, new actions for bixby routines customize your virtual memory so you can choose the phone's virtual memory with ram plus in device care so you can choose it now separate you can choose the type of virtual memory you want and game optimization services so this says right here gpu and cpu performances during early stages of gameplay will not be limited a performance feature so the alternate temperature will be maintained the alternate game performance um, management mode and gameplay will be provided third-party apps to bypass the game optimization so let's just jump into the update and that's pretty much everything that you would need to know. I just talked about every single thing that was on that list, right? So now it says it's downloading and phone right here. Look, at it says Samsung Galaxy Note 10 5G on here and it's just powering back up with everything. So it's at 25% automatically powering up right now. It says Samsung Galaxy Note 10 5G right here. So I'm just literally waiting for it to come back up right now, but you can see right here, um, this color is really gorgeous. The Snapdragon 855 on board. Um, this particular model has 12 gigabytes with virtual memory. So I'm going to check out the virtual memory on here because it says it's in device care. So you could just play around with that. And uh, it says you can customize that now. I also want to do the widget customization too. Kind of tamper, uh, mess around with that. But it says right here that it first has to optimize your apps. So let me just pause the video one more time. But if you're still here, just say still here in the comment section so that I know that you stayed this long in the video. But um, after that, we're going to test out some of the new features. All right, guys, so the update is finally here and it didn't actually take too long for it to actually update. So that was something that was pretty cool. But the first thing I want to do is go into the phone's um, settings and kind of want to check out the virtual memory area where it gives you the memory option so just going to jump into that real quick but it should be right here where it says battery device care and then when you go into the um, phone's virtual memory it should be here but let me just see what it does when I go into memory and then it says right here that I have right here it says Let me just wait for that to zoom in. They just said that the software the software update was done, but it does say right here that there's three out of the 12 used and then one reserve gigabyte. And then for the RAM plus virtual memory, it's giving me four, which is pretty crazy. So, um, 
those are some of the details about the the, the memory on here as well so you know definitely pretty cool but as you can see right here um, let me see as far as the um, specs of the phone it's given me everything that I need to know right here okay so let's go to storage 256 on this guy and um, okay so cool let's jump into the widgets I know you can do the stacks now so it says right here settings let's go into widgets and see if they they give you like a stack so right here it says right here smart widgets Combine widgets to save space and get timely information on your home screen. So you can add a bunch of different ones. Let me see this one, the smart widget. Let's add this one. Okay, so it says you can get your what your weather in here, your clock. So this one has weather and clock in it. So that's something that's pretty cool to mess around with. Right, so um, the other thing that they said is that they, um, you know, they did enhance the portraits for the background for any person. So I don't have a person to take a picture of right now, but, you know, AR Zone is going to have the, you know, emojis. So if you go into AR Zone, it's going to have that inside of your camera um, right here. Gonna have all the, those enhanced um, features right then samsung health is going to be um, improved it's going to have your insights to better sleep health and enhanced um, exercise tracking um, you're also going to get the um, google duo which is going to let you share you know obviously videos with people while you're chatting with them and the enhanced uh, color palette which i want to take a look at for my wallpaper and then i'll wrap up the video right so let's see right here, wallpaper. And let's just say I was choosing this one and set on home screen. So now it gives me the option to mess around with the all the wallpapers you can see right here, the, the colors. I kind of like this blue color with the teal in it, but then they have that peach with the olive. So that's kind of crazy. So I kind of like this one and then you can hit apply. So just a lot of cool features to tamp, to tinker with and to mess around with. But hopefully you guys did find this update helpful. Let me just show you the screen where it shows you the Android update for the One UI 4.1. Um, you can go right here and go to update and then it'll just tell you uh, the system information right here, March 1st, 2021. And then obviously it's going to be running with the one UI as well. So if I go to system, if I go to software info right here about phone and go into software info, it'll tell me right now that I'm running on the 4.1 for the Android 12, March 1st. Uh, but hopefully you guys did stay locked into the end of the video. If you made it this far in the end of the video, make sure you say I'm still here in the comment section, but I'm going to get right back with you and I'll check you guys later. Peace. Thank you.